Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the bow spider. This is Robbie with Review This Thing, where our goal is to give you the most honest, thorough, unbiased, unpaid reviews on YouTube. If you've watched our channel much, you know that a couple of months ago, I went on a public land elk hunting trip in Colorado. I knew I was gonna be hiking quite a bit with my bow. I wanted to find a way to carry my bow without actually having to carry my bow all the time. Adrian came across the bow spider and it looked like it would really be worth a try. I did take it on that elk hunting trip and I've used it quite a bit during deer season now, so I'm ready to tell you what I think about it. So let's review this thing. As always, we tell you the facts. The first part is fit. I'm going to answer the first part of fit in this section and then actually the rest of fit in the as advertised section. Here I want to talk about whether the bow spider will fit your bow. It's actually really easy to attach the bow spider pedestal mount to your bow in several different locations. I've mainly used the bow stabilizer mount, which attaches right behind your stabilizer in the front of the bow, and you attach the pedestal to the other side of it. When I carried it that way elk hunting, it really seemed to give a lot of balance to the bow and made it easy to carry. But it also comes with a screw long enough that you can mount the pedestal straight to your bow in one of the quiver mount holes, top or bottom. My bow has these two holes in it and I was able to just mount the pedestal straight to this. I've used it that way a couple of times during bow season and I think that's probably the way I'm gonna end up leaving it for a while. The position where you mount the pedestal really depends more on your intended use. If you're mainly gonna use it in a tree stand and the receiver is hooked to your tree, you wouldn't wanna use the stabilizer mount because it would end up hanging your bow upside down which is probably not the best way to get a, get a quick shot at a deer. I've hiked a lot of miles with the bow spider pedestal attached to my bow on that stabilizer mount, and I haven't had any trouble with it coming loose or not fitting well. So for fit, I was able to mount it on my bow easily. There's several different mounting options to suit your intended use, but we're gonna talk about this a little bit more in the next section. I wasn't able to get the receiver to fit on my pack exactly the way I had initially thought. So because of that, I'm gonna give fit a 4.8 out of five. Now is the bow spider as advertised. This is where we'll talk about the second part of fit. Basically the main thing bow spider advertises is that you can pack or store your bow anywhere because the receiver attaches to anything. Because I was looking for something to help carry my bow while elk hunting, the main thing I wanted to do was get it attached to my pack. First, I tried to attach it to the top of my pack. And if you look at their website or YouTube, you'll see several videos on how to do this. I was able to get it attached to my pack using the two Velcro straps, and the waist belt, but number one, that made it really hard for me to reach and be able to get the bow out of the receiver. And number two, I also had to take the waist belt off the pack to get into the pack. So it made getting into the pack a lot more difficult because that didn't really work out the way I was wanting it to. I switched gears and figured out how to mount the receiver on the hip belt of my pack. Attaching it to my hip belt was actually pretty easy, except the little bitty small bolts and nuts back here were kind of hard with my fat fingers. And with it attached on the hip belt of my pack, it put my bow right where I wanted it to be at. If I was hiking in the dark for a while, it was easy to put the pedestal and the receiver on my hip belt and strap the top of my bow to the outside of my pack. If I was just hiking, it was easy to have the bow on my side and I just hold it to stabilize it just a little bit while walking. Now there's also several other places where the bow spider really could come in handy. We haven't specifically used it in all of these places, but we did test it just to make sure it would actually work so that you guys could have some different ideas. I tree stand hunt a lot for deer, and one of the ways you could take this receiver and the waist belt that it comes with, strap it around the tree, and put the receiver right on the tree, then you just hang the bow right on the receiver. I haven't quite figured out if I wanna do that yet or not. Having my bow that close to the tree could actually make it a little bit more difficult to get to, especially if I was sitting down in a stand. As I mentioned, it comes with a waist belt, which obviously you could strap it around your waist, and have the receiver hanging on your side if you don't have a pack or anything. Another option we tested was using the waist belt to strap the receiver to the back of the headrest in my truck, which kept my bow out of the back seat and gave me more room for other stuff. And finally, you could screw the receiver to a wall in your garage, giving you an easy spot to hang your bow. So because you can get extra receivers and basically hang your bow anywhere, I'm gonna give, as advertised, a five out of five. And now on the construction and durability. The pedestal that goes on the bow is made from anodized aluminum. It feels really durable, and the screws they send with it give you a very solid mounting foundation. I've carried it on my side and taken it in and out of the receiver a lot of different times. I haven't had any issues with it bending or anything like that. The receiver is made from a really hard plastic and it feels very durable. I've had it mounted on my pack for the past three or four months. I used it that whole trip in Colorado, hiked with it a lot of different miles. I've thrown my pack in and out of the back of the truck quite a few times. I've hung my bow from it the whole time and taken it in and out of the pedestal quite a bit 
and there's hardly anywhere at all where the pedestal comes in and out of the mount. It comes with three straps. Two of them are Velcro that you could use to mount to the top of the strap and the waist belt. All three of these straps look really good. Haven't shown anywhere yet. The buckle on the waist belt, I actually thought I was gonna break the first time I tried to close it, but I just added a little bit of extra force. It didn't break and it actually closes very securely. Construction and durability seems rock solid overall. The only thing I would change is how small these bolts and nuts are on the receiver just to make it a little bit easier to switch around if I needed to. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give construction and durability a 4.9 out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. I believe the Bow Spider is actually a fairly new product, so it was hard to find reviews online, but I am gonna give you the complaints other people had. Someone said that when they had the receiver mounted to the top outside of their pack and the pack was full, it actually tilted the receiver so when they put their bow in there, the bow hit them on the back of the head. Another person said it was difficult to take off when wearing your pack. Someone else said it was difficult to use with a normal pack. Not really sure what their normal pack was, but it was easy to use with my pack. Another person said that the aluminum bracket bent. Not sure if they meant the stabilizer mount post or the actual pedestal post itself. And finally, they said it's not worth the price. The Bow Spider starter kit is $89.95. Additional receivers are about $40 a piece. So as I mentioned, couldn't really find a whole lot of reviews, especially not specific ones, but I'm gonna give you the score that we found, and that score is a 4.1 out of five. And last but not least, should I buy this thing? As always, we're gonna say it depends on what you're looking for. I've mentioned that I use it a little bit during deer season. The main reason that I haven't is because I had other stuff attached to both sides of my pack. It made it a whole lot harder to get the pedestal into the receiver and the bow not hit something else. If you have a secret for that, please let me know. But the times that I have used it deer hunting, it was just as easy deer hunting as it was elk hunting. But if you carry a lot of stuff on the sides of your pack, the bow spider may not be a good option for you. I'm looking forward to using it in some of the other options like we mentioned, either in my truck or trying it in a tree stand or even just mounting a receiver in the garage. But if that's your primary reason for using the bow spider, I'm sure there's cheaper options out there. If you do a lot of hiking while you're hunting and are looking for an easier way to carry your bow while still having it easily accessible, then the bow spider might be exactly what you're looking for. Especially if you get a couple extra receivers and use it on your headrest in your truck or on the wall in your garage, the bow spider really is a great option. It did exactly what I needed it to do and made carrying my bow while elk hunting significantly easier. So because of that, I'm gonna give Should You Buy This Thing a five out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our bow spider review. While you're here, watch a bunch of other videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. If you really like them, subscribe. Come back and watch each week as we release a new video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And check out our website, reviewthisingtv.com.